So you like the idea of rotating around, having a try at everything, getting a bat and a bowl. You weren't embarrassed any of the people with their hands up because you couldn't bowl very well. And you thought, mm, gee, I'm making a bit of a gig of myself here because I can't really bowl, but they're making me bowl. I wish they wouldn't make me bowl. Did any of you feel, think that way? Anybody at all? No one. I was the only person who was feeling embarrassed for somebody. Right, well, that's all right. I'll just ask quick. Any, any reason why you really did enjoy the Wesley or the Geelong game? I liked it because of the soft ball and how you got to go at everything. Good, so soft ball's better. Doesn't hurt as much, does it? Harder to hit, though. Harder to hit a long way. But better to play with from your point of view. Yes? Um, for the modified rules, for, um, Where if you got out for a duck on the first one, you could, and you didn't, you could stay in, and if you got out later and again, it didn't matter. You could um, stay in for four overs. You think that was, but it was the last one we played. You enjoyed that. Did you go out for a duck? No. You didn't. So. But I did go out. You did go out, and it was it was good that you didn't have to worry about Sorry. going out and then being able to stay in and have a <coughs> longer hit. Was it long enough hit? Was four overs long enough when you were sharing that with somebody else? Could be a bit longer. Could be a bit longer. Did you f how many, do you remember how many balls you faced in that time? Was it many? Yeah. Not really enough for you to do what you wanted to do. Yeah, not to make enough runs. Um, why do you think it's good for the batsmen to stay in after they're out? Because somebody said the opposite a minute ago. Perhaps you might like to have an argument with them. Why do you think it's a good thing to stay in? Uh, because it's, if you're not a very good um, batsman and you get out quite a lot, um, you get a better chance to make to some runs. Oh. It might also help the bowler because the bowler's getting wickets and he feels very good too that he's mm -hmm. bowling people out, so he gets encouraged also. Yeah, but he, won't, he has to wait. Um, Alright. Oh, st it still counts a wicket for him though. He's very proud because the wicket has got to be divided into the number of runs, hasn't it, to find the, the score. So he does get a wicket next to his name, and that's good too, that he can get lots of wickets, can't he? Yeah. With a chance. So it's encouraging for the bowler too. I'm not arguing against you, I'm I'm, <laughs> arguing. I'm with you, I'm arguing for you. Anything else? That's very good. That's a very good argument. Anything else? With the Wesley game, Geelong game, I think they're good because they're very fair. And like if you get somebody who didn't really want to play and they think, oh, I'm not going to be very good, it sort of encourages them so they can say, stay in for longer. And Were you one of those people? Did you want to play the cricket? Yes. You were quite happy to play when we came out and said, we want to play cricket for the next four weeks. Were you happy about that or did you think, oh, this is awful? Yeah, well, I thought I wonder what kind of things they're going to play. Now, well, all right, so you're a person who hadn't played much cricket beforehand and you played cricket really for the first time. Now, can you really say you enjoyed that experience, the four weeks, whether we're playing real cricket or modified cricket, did you really enjoy it? Was it yes. a fun game? Do you think cricket's a good game for primary school children? Yes. You do. But you really did prefer the Kerry game and the Geelong game much better than the real game. Yeah, much better than the real game. Good. Because you did you get a bat in the real game? Yes. You did, and even having got a bat in the real game, you were quite. I went out for nothing. But did you? Oh, that's a good reason. Isn't it? First ball. No. <coughs> but soon after, yeah. and then you had to go out, and you didn't get another chance to hit the ball. That's interesting. Yes. Oh, the only thing about the real game is I didn't really get a bat at the end. Well, that's a good reason for not liking, isn't it? Well, it, it was all right, except I didn't get a bat. The rest of it was okay. That's yeah. the, the thing you don't like most of all about real cricket is that some people don't get a chance to bat, and you were one of those. Had you got a bat, you would have thought it was all right. Simon, what did you think of the running around to all the positions? Oh, I think it was rather good. You, you liked that? Mm hmm Yes? Um, I, played, I only played one game, that was the carry cricket which was all right. But um, there was, when I um, went in to bat, um, I, was, I hadn't played cricket for a fair while. And so I was 
and I'm kind of out of practice, and I'm not very good at batsman anyway. And so anyway, um, someone uh, bowled it out, and I tried to hit it, but I missed. And it, before I could try and um, get it, it hit the wickets. Right. And so I had to go out, and I'm like um, that other boy that went out first of all. But um, anyway, when I later on when um, I went in fielding. I um, wanted to have a go at bowling because I'm all right at it. And so I was allowed. And um, it turned out that I got about um, three overs that I, so, that I bowled. So it didn't, the fact no. that you didn't get a hit yeah. for very long didn't matter because yeah. you got a good chance to bowl. Yes. And that was in, which game was that one in? Kerry Cricket. In the Kerry Cricket. And so even though I went out first ball. Um, so it, you sort of I compensated a bit by the made, fact that it made, made up for it. it. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Well, that's an argument that somebody else had up here before for specialists, because you could be a specialist bowler, and you're not expected to bat very well and make lots of runs, but you're expected to bowl well and do well in that way. So that, yeah, that's a very interesting argument. Any, in, we're still on the um, the modified game. Any good reasons for people here? Somebody put their hands up. Marcus, you haven't said anything, I don't think. Did you say yeah. something about the real cricket, did you? No, about the gloves. Yes. Would you like to say something about which game you liked and why? Real or modified? Mm. I thought it might have been a good argument saying you went out for you and Marcus, you and the yeah. fellow went out first of all. Would you think that's a good thing? Would you rather have another chance or do you think that's the challenge as somebody else set up the back? That's what cricket's all about. You either make make a run or you go. You're not really sure? Whether you like whether you want a second chance or whether it was just the one chance. Would you like a second chance to make some more, make another chance, another, another opportunity to hit the ball, or do you think well, going out doesn't really matter? Uh, um, I think if you just had, like, if you went out four times, um, you could, you'd had to go out. You'd have to go out. So you wouldn't yeah. say just once, but yeah. if they got you out three or four times, you think that that's an interesting way of having. So you're allowed. Say, well, instead of having one life, you might be allowed two or three lives. But after you've had your third life, you've got it's a bit like softball. That you get one strike, two strikes, and three strikes, and you're out. Would you like that idea? That's a good idea. I think that's a really good idea. I haven't thought of that one. Maybe that's. What do everybody else think about that? Like softball, instead of going out first strike and being out, or the foulest is up in the air, or whatever it is, that you um, you get three chances. Maybe we could play cricket with three chances, like softball. Marcus has got a good idea there. I think. No one else agrees. Anybody else? Just quickly on the um, on the modified game. Any other good? We've said lots of good. Worrying about Roger yeah. over here. Roger, have you got something you'd like to say? And Tim, I wonder if you'd uh, make a few comments. I don't think we've heard from you two fellows yet. Oh, well, I think it's rather good that, like, say, if you were hit three times, you'd be out for two days. And also everybody got a bat in modified rules. Where would you vote? Modified or real? Modified or modified. Tim? Uh, well, with mo modified rules, I think it's good how everyone gets bat. Except in the real cricket, I like that the best because, mm. I don't know, I really said... Because um, you get a little more bowl and a little more bat. Yeah, I suppose. Because yeah. you're, probably I think your, your classmates would say you're quite a good cricketer, I think I would say that. And you might be disadvantaged by the modified game because you wouldn't bat as long or maybe bowl as often. Would that be fair to say that? Uh, I don't know really, it's a... Uh, um, well did you, this, can you remember now, did you bat for longer in the real cricket compared with the modified cricket? Yeah, I've longer in real cricket. Right. Now, did you bowl more often in the real cricket? Yeah, I bowl more. Well, isn't that a good reason? Yeah, it's fine. All right, any, any other comments going on the back? Yes. Um, with the real cricket, um, I'd like Marcus's idea about the um, three goes and then you're out. Because with the real cricket, sometimes it takes too long if they go out and takes too long for the next person to come in and things if they don't know they're out. If they don't know they're out, the other batsman that in there might not notice and 
might not come out and it takes a long time. We'd never get some of the boys out here. If we had three chances for three or four of the boys I know here, we gave them three or four chances, we'd be playing for the next three years. We'd never get them out. <laughs> Wouldn't we? They've had trouble in real cricket. I think in modified cricket, Marcus's idea is really good. I think for real cricket, those who play real cricket wouldn't agree with that. They said the challenge is not to get out. When you're out, you're out. That's an interesting comment, yes. Well, I agree with him on the challenge because when I was batting in the real game, the first ball I hit four, but then the second ball I got out. But it was still a challenge because I got out, but anyway, I hit the four. Mm. What about had you not hit the four and you got out first ball? If you'd missed that first four and hit the stumps and you were out, do you think you'd still feel the same way? No. Yeah. Well, in the real cricket, I reckon you should have about at least one chance because it's, oh, it depends how the ball, what the bowler is, who the bowler is. And Craig, I think, get about three chances. <laughs> and if it's on the, um, the other cricket, modified cricket, well, I reckon you should have about one chance because you've got to go out. No, I reckon you should have about... A, no, no... Uh, well, just how it's played. Well, that would be very difficult because if Mr Smith was umpiring, then he'd have to decide whether the bowler was a good bowler and whether the batsman was a good batsman. Then he'd have to decide how many outs that person was going to have, wouldn't he? I reckon they should have one, one chance. Then. One because chance. If you have too many chances, you'll be there all year. Yes. Keep going. Oh, I agree with him with, that you should only have one chance because like, if there's three chances and someone who's a very good cricketer and they went out the first go and they wouldn't go out again, it gets pretty boring. And, um, um, and I agree with Mark saying that you could have a couple of lives at it. Yeah. yeah. Because if you weren't a good batsman, then you could try again and have another go and get better at it. All right. Yes. I think you should have um, three goes if you have to, if you got out. Um, have three goes to everything. Um, have three Whether lives. Three lives, whether it be real cricket or modified yeah. cricket. You like because it, I think. I went out on somebody sort of ran me out. Right. It wasn't even your fault. <laughs> That's <laughs> awful, isn't it? And um, I think you should be able to have another go. Right. Um, well, for the um, real cricket, I, I reckon you should have one chance. And um, for the. Um, well, the modified, modified cricket. cricket. I think you should um, have. Um, well, I think you should have three chances. If you're not doing very well, um, you should have three chances. But if you're doing all right, you have. Oh yeah, then you're less than the number of chances, and that <coughs> would be up to somebody like the teacher or the or the umpire. Maybe um, Mr. Smith would make that decision. Do you think that would be hard on Mr. Smith each time to decide who was? Who needed three lines? It'd be awfully hard, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, let's keep yes. So Alex said it'd be hard to because somebody might think that he's cheating the way he that he said that they were out that time. If they only got one more chance and now that person's got three in there, he could four chances. Mm. Nicholas House would get five chances, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like the modified rules best because every um the positions are good and the main thing is that everyone gets a bat and a bowl, and if they're not really good, it um, helps them get better, get better at it. how mm. they do it. So that's a good point. Yes? Um, with the um, Geelong cricket and the Wesley cricket, I think it's a good idea how you rotate, but with the Wesley cricket, I don't think you should have a third man, because you're too far out, and you hardly get any action out there. You don't think, get it yes, our, our field placing. The things that mm. I like the idea of circling around positions. Uh, yes. I think that um, what Alex said is, um, um, you know, good, good idea. A good idea because I think um, the way that you should, um, Mr. Smith or whoever the umpire is, 
to um, tell um, tell the, the tell the batsmen how yes. many lives that they they yes. have. Yes. Um, yes. If you see how they go, um, to say the first three balls, mm. and if they're not doing too well, then then you help them by giving them. That's good because that that does happen in some cricket that the coach not necessarily um, is able to give them out but is able to retire that batsman if they start to do very well and hit the bowling all over the place and we don't look like we're going to get them out then we retire them they can come back again afterwards but we we send them out and let somebody else have a hit that's pretty hard I, I don't like making the job of the umpire any harder but that's something that maybe he could do I and think that's a good point Sometimes, if you don't play cricket very often, like me, um, when you go out onto the pitch and you're using a fairly hard ball, you tend to be, fairly, at first you seem to be a bit um, kind of frightened of the ball, because you think that if it hits you, it can really hurt. And so you try and get out of the way, and when, when it hits the wickets, you say to yourself, gee, I wish I'd try it to get it. It's very hard, isn't it? It's a hard ball coming. It's very hard to stand in line with the ball and hit it. You better just step back a bit and put your bat out, and then of course that means that you get bowled out more often. That's a very good point you made there. Yes. Um, with what Tim said before about the batsman might not be watching when another batsman should go out, went out. The um, um, team should be watching because um, their interest should be interested in how the team's going. Mm -hmm. And um, with um, the short pitches. I reckon they're better because you've got more of a chance of getting it up to the other end. Running or bowling? Bowling. Bowling, yes. You think the short pitch is a good idea yeah. for, as you get older, you can lengthen the pitch. Yes. But depending on how old you are, we should shorten the pitch to make it easy for the ball to get down. Yes. Right, look, you've sat very well for a long time. Just a couple of other questions you've led me to. You said the team that are batting who aren't actually on the pitch should be interested in what the others are doing. That's very different to Miss Conaby's... Uh, comment before she said it was boring to watch the other people. I was fascinated that some people each week that I arrived came running up and said, who won last week? And it was, I think, one or two people, and I can just about tell you who those people were, they come up each week and they say, who won? Did gold or white win? Very rarely, when we'd finished the game on Wednesday afternoon, did anybody run over and ask the people who were scoring who had won. When I came back next week, one or two people did. Now, is it really important, was it, now can I ask you this, was it really important for you and your team to win, or didn't it really matter anyway? I mean, some people were obviously very interested, just two or three, and the rest really didn't, they didn't come and ask or didn't get much bothered about it. Anybody, well, just first of all, can I ask you this question? Hand up those people who were much happier when their team won than when their team lost. Not the end if you were much happier, really, but it made you feel good if you were on the winning team. All right, thank you, there's only two or three people. Um, all right, uh, would you like to make a comment about that? Anybody like to make a comment about whether it was important to, to win or to lose? I think there's somebody we haven't heard very much from. It didn't really matter if you won or you lost, because it's just a game. Because you might win, win another time. Or just Wasn't it? What if it, had, what if it had been a house match? Well, Mr. Smith, he thinks it's important because he was going to give, make sure that Nicholas House was Nicholas. Nicholas, that's Nicholas right. House, <laughs> Nicholas House cheap. won. Now, Mr. Smith was going. He wasn't going to cheat, but he was just going to help them a little bit. Yeah. Now, if it had been, a, if we'd played that as a house competition and not just between whites and golds or whites and yellows, um, would it have been more important then? What does that matter to you? I'm to, to you, not to other people, but to you personally. Yeah. It would have mattered then. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, that's a bit why? Because well, why, why did it matter then? Because it was a house competition. Uh, you know why it matters to you? It does matter. You've changed from that game, which wasn't important because it wasn't a competition, to a game that is important. You've said because it is a competition. Is it because of what your friends are going to say if you don't try and you don't win? No, it's not because of the friends. Not well, of them. Why does it become important when it's in a competition? Oh, you get more points. Like if you had um, competitions, I usually score on you. Right. I see how many points. And your points goes into the overall house competition to help you yeah. win the cup, does it? Is it a cup or a cup? Yes, it's a shield. Oh, it is a cup. Yeah. And that's that's important then for you to to help to win that. 
Well, that's interesting. Somebody else would have a nose. Chris, brother. Yes. Chris. Um, I don't think it's important to win because it's only a game and you can try the next time. No, it didn't, didn't matter yeah, to you. Even if it had been a house competition, it didn't matter. No.